Hello, Center Point family. Uh, thanks for giving me a, a few minutes of your day. Uh, I know days are busy, uh, but I just wanted to highlight and uh, update you on a few things happening in our CP Kids ministry. But wait, if you're not involved in CP Kids or don't have kids, don't tune out. Um, this is relevant for our whole church family, especially that you could be praying for our, our kids ministry. Um, but two weeks ago, we kicked off a summer series, um, which is memorizing the books of the Bible. As you can see on the walls behind me, we have all 66 books hanging. And the idea throughout the summer is for the kids to be in God's word together with their families. Um, one of the crucial aspects of this curriculum is that there's a, a take home that the kids will bring that encourages you as a family to uh, be diving into God's Word, memorizing these books together. Uh, so I want to encourage you to do that. Um, it's important to remember, though, that the goal isn't necessarily that they actually, you know, are able to memorize all of them in order. Um, we know some kids might be able to do that. And that's great. Other kids might struggle with that, or especially if you've missed, uh, missed some Sundays, it might be hard. Um, so we don't want any of the kids to feel bad about not being able to. So the goal isn't really the memorizing as much as it is, is being in God's word together as a family. And my heart is to see Christ at the center of all of our families. So what better way uh, to encourage this by getting into God's word. So for the summer, you'll be memorizing the books and you'll find out in the, in the fall, we're going to be memorizing scripture throughout the school year as well. So for these next several weeks, um, they're going to be learning all the different books. And when they bring home the take home, have fun with it at home. Uh, memorizing the books together, spend each day, you know, going over them and even encouraging them uh, about what these books mean um, from what you know as far as scripture goes. Um, so I want to thank you ahead of time that if you put this as a priority in your family, um, I know God's going to bless it in such an amazing way. And it can only bring health to our families here at the church. And one of the things they'll also be doing uh, is creating one of these. I'm going to grab it here. One of these posters. Uh, you can see it's pretty good size. It's very sturdy. And each week they'll be adding uh, stickers with the book's names on them. And they'll be able to uh, create this poster that... Uh, we'll be able to use as a reference um, for the upcoming school year as we memorize scripture. You can use that poster as finding the books in the Bible and helping your kids dive into uh, the Bible and finding these scriptures and all that stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And then one other thing I wanted to mention, as a CP Kids Ministry, we are experiencing you know, a shortage in our volunteers for the summer. Uh, we don't even have enough to fill in each week for a month. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine our pre-K uh, group with our first through fifth grade um, and only have like two adults that will then oversee that whole class. Um, usually in the summer, those classes are a little bit smaller than normal anyway, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem. But I would ask that if you could just be aware as families, you know, if you serve in CP Kids but have taken the summer off or aren't serving on a particular Sunday and you see that everyone's here, which we may have Sundays like that, and our kids' ministry is huge, maybe uh, checking in with me or just going back and making sure that they have enough adults um, to be able to handle that many kids. Um, and as far as the nursery goes, there may be some Sundays where we'll have to put a limit on how many kids we can have in there if we only have one volunteer, uh, which we do sometimes because we just don't have enough to fill it. Um, so just be aware of that and give us some grace and patience as we try to navigate through trying to create the best atmosphere for our kids, but also keep our volunteers healthy. Because one of the things I don't, don't want to do is uh, pressure or put uh, our volunteers to do serve regularly uh, doing more. I don't want to put more on their plates and, and create stress because um, it's not fair to them either as well. So either way, just be praying for our, our kids' ministry and all that God's doing. Um, he's definitely up to something, trying to encourage our families to be in God's Word together and grow spiritually. And uh, I'm excited about that. And these other logistical things, uh, we can get through those and we can work around those. But the important thing is to, to be in God's word together. So I pray that for all of our families. So thank you for uh, giving me a few minutes of your time. And I pray you have a, a blessed rest of your day.